start, head to the stock materials and add a white background video to your timeline. Next, go to the speed tab. Adjust the duration to 11 seconds. Set the video ratio to 16 to 9. Duplicate a white clip. Go to Adjustments. Click on Curves and customize the color to your liking. For this demonstration, we'll be changing it to a vibrant yellow. Now, navigate to the video mask and select the circle option. Resize the mask and position it in the bottom left corner. Duplicate this clip onto the top layer and move the mask to the top right corner. Advance the playhead to the 2 second mark. Access the video basics and apply transform keyframes to both yellow background clips. At the start of the clip, move both yellow background clips in opposite directions to exit the screen. Select all layers, right click, and create a compound clip. Move the playhead back to the 2 second mark. Once again, go to the video mask, choose the circle shape, and adjust its size and position as necessary. Duplicate this clip. Go to the video mask, click on reverse, and add a slight feathering effect for a shadowy look. Duplicate the clip in the bottom layer onto the top layer. Replacing it by dragging the video onto the top clip. Go to the video basic. Adjust the scale to reveal a white circle. Click on the bottom layer clip. Move the playhead to the two second mark. And add a transform keyframes. Move the playhead to the end of the clip and apply six rotations. Mm -hmm. 
shift the playhead to the 4 second mark. And add transform keyframes to both bottom layer clips. Towards the end of the clip, adjust the scale to 120%. Click on the top clip, shift the playhead to the 4 second mark. Go to the video math. Add a math keyframe at 4 seconds. Towards the end of the clip, fine tune the math size. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was informative and enjoyable for you. Thank you for watching.